Okay, this is Trevor Vargas, and I've been doing the off-grid truck camper setup for about two months now. Um, fully living in it completely. Still working while doing it. Um, haven't really done a full vid of the truck, what has it. A little couple small bits and pieces videos that you guys have probably already seen. But uh, today I'm going to do a full walkthrough, walk around, show you about the truck. And I actually happen to be right by Yosemite National Park. Right by the river. It's one of my spots I like to camp at. And I actually have my daughter with me and my dog, my Hazel, just to show you about what the setup's about. Okay, so it is a 2001 Ford Ranger. Nothing special. It's a five speed. I got my baby girl Hazel up front. Okay. The first mob that I did do to the vehicle, I put in special terminal posts for the battery so I could hook on more than one negative and positive. I have this positive or this negative cable running all the way down underneath of the cab of the vehicle. I also have this positive cable to a 200 amp fuse. And those are both leading directly under the vehicle. Comes up through the floorboard. to my two golf cart batteries that I have here. Now, these are six volt, 250 amp hour batteries. I wired them together to make them a 12 volt battery. And I, in doing so, they gave me 500 amp hours, but your batteries only let you use 50% at any given time. So I really only have 250 amp hours. Those cables are put to an automatic disconnect switch that goes right to the battery and the alternator that charges those batteries. I have a 2000 watt Renogy pure wave sign inverter with electrical cables running all the way through the bed of the truck. You can kind of see the spray foam kind of through the bed of the truck that lead all the way out through here. Got my cooler of food, a whole bunch of miscellaneous. Now, on top, I have a 200 watt solar panel. I have a fantastic fan that I had installed with a vent roof cover to prevent the water from closing the hood. On the inside, I got my munchkin. Say hi. Hi. Got my solar controller right here. Everything wiring to it. Got my fantastic fan right here. Got this four inch memory foam mattress. How comfy is it, Pia? It's very comfy. Very comfy. Underneath. Oh, I got all my water. The storage goes all the way back there. Here is the wireless remote to my Renogy. Whenever I need power, this is my automatic switch to turn it on. Then when I want to use my power, I have my electrical here with a, another attachment. I do have the porta potty. It's like a a cheap version. It works really well. Holds 350 pounds of the weight of the capacity. I'm 250, so that's good for me. Um, I do have the privacy pop-up tent, so that way I can shower and use the restroom comfortably. As for the shower, I do carry a solar shower with me that I do always put out in the mornings. We're at 92 degrees right now. She just finished her shower.
and then this is one of my main drawers it's not organized by any means right now because we're camping but there's food first aid kit miscellaneous clothes dog food propane burner and gas is on the inside um let me think what else am i missing that's pretty much it in a nutshell uh yeah wired my main battery to my volt to my golf cart batteries with the switch so i can charge via driving if there's bad solar and there's not like a cl if there's clouds or anything but i haven't had a single problem with this solar panel at all i'm always floating within 70 percent of my battery after using it all day and yeah i did build it myself the woodwork is a little janky but it gets the job done if you guys have any other questions please write them down in the comments please like and subscribe hope you enjoy the video on the channel it's still new to me um but i'm working on it hope you guys enjoy bye